Hello HP Touchpad users, great news! Android 8.1 Oreo builds are now available for the HP Touchpad, brought to us by the Evervolve team. Always evolve, ever evolve! Here you can see me interacting with the About Tablet menu. Things are a little differently laid out in Android 8.0 Oreo, but you'll still get little Easter eggs. Now these builds are rather functional. A few things aren't working properly, such as Bluetooth in the camera, always the last things to get fixed up. But you can go into the Play Store, you can install apps, you can use the browser, and you can go on YouTube. If you need full compatibility, check out the Android Nougat build, also from Everball. Moving on, let's load up Antutu Benchmark. You can see I'm doing quite a respectable score for a 7-year-old dual-core tablet running the latest Android Oreo builds. Quite good. But next up, we'll see that the Play Store is still fully functional. You can download and install any apps you like. Now you will note that the Wi-Fi icon is actually grayed out. Now it still works fine, but you will notice it's grayed out. A lot of people have mentioned that. No need to mention it. It's a known bug. Now I was able to load up the YouTube app and run my full install guide video and that ran fine but it was a little slow to load. So you'll note that the Wi-Fi does work, things are a little slow, keep in mind these are newer testing builds. All in all, incredible to see Android Oreo on the HP touchpad and a big shout out to the Evervolve team for their hard work in making this happen. Thanks guys. Now I'd like to take you over to the DevSpace forum, the new home of the Evervolve team and HP touchpad development. Now this is all subject to change and we have an important announcement to hear about today in the Evervolve 8.0 thread here. In the final post by the Elgin Skater, we have an important announcement. The Evervolve team will be merging with the Dirty Unicorns team. Follow the link here over to Google Plus to read about it. Saying goodbye is never an easy thing to do. Well in our case is not a goodbye but a see you later. As the two teams merge together, there may be a slight pause in development, but this will all be for the best in the end as we'll have more hands on deck, more eyes on the project, and things will be moving along. All the current Evervolve ROMs, I guess, are being transferred over to Dirty Unicorn ROMs at the moment. I'm not sure how this will affect our section of the forum. Maybe we'll need a new subsection in the Dirty Unicorns area. Maybe it'll still be here. I'll leave links in the video's description so you can still find it if you're looking. You can always subscribe and I'll make an updated video once we know what's going on. But this is great news for all of us and we'll be seeing great things in the future hopefully from the ever evolved Dirty Unicorns, Dirty Ever Evolving Unicorns team. Let's see what happens. They're always evolving and now they're ever evolving into Dirty Unicorns. In the comments below we've already had it confirmed that yes the HP touchpad will be supported. Come leave a comment, let them know what you think. I'm just thrilled to see that development is going to continue as the commits have stopped for this month with the switch over. No matter what happens, you can always count on my guide over at XCA Developers Forum to have the latest info and working links. I do still recommend the Lineage 11 build by Milak for the best app compatibility as that's the number one complaint still. Check it out, it's part of my install guide. Of course we have the latest Oreo builds, which are still kind of testing at the moment, wait for the switch over I'd say, and we do have great ever evolved Nougat builds that have undergone quite a bit of development and are quite mature, I'd grab those, check them out, all great builds, and there's even a Lineage 14.1 build by Invisible K, so we've got that as well, we've got the whole gambit, I've got information on all of that, 4G users will want to get this build here. I hope you've enjoyed this updated video. Please subscribe to see the latest updates with the HV Touchpad. Thanks for watching, everyone.